so this is the hair that I use it's the easy braid professional spectra it's a 1b in blue and I did use nine packs and I love the way it feels the texture is great and I didn't have any bleeding hands after so let's get into it um, this is the section that I have left. I did do everything and everything is so repetitive. So I was like, let me just save this little part for everyone to see. So everything is easier with the rat tail comb. That's how I do my sectioning. It goes through my hair easily. And the way I oil my hair, I use that melanin uh, multi-purpose oil. Oh, it's so perfect for my hair. And um, I use jam. And Marguerite's Magic, you guys know I always use that on my hair, but I ran out. So now um, for the top section, I had to use the Melanin Elongating Cream. And I used the, um, that jam thing. You're going to see it. It's not jam, but it's the one that I use all the time. You'll see it. It'll come up. Whatever. So I'm going to, there's the Melanin. I'm going to saturate my hair. I really want to protect my hair so each strand is really saturated. So this is the easy part. I take half of the braid and I go around. So I use one strand of hair and I um, put it in half and I use my third, my strand of hair as a third piece of hair and then I just braid down and I make sure that my hands are up and going towards the back. I want to braid toward the back and after I do it like four or five times then I go down and braid it down that way your hair is not going towards the front and all in your face you want to go toward the back and I'm going to braid all the way down and every strand you see that half I'm using my hair as a third piece and I'm kind of taking some hair from the other pieces of hair from the other strands just to kind of make it even and then I'm just braiding make sure your arms are up and you're braiding toward the back and make sure because you want braids to always be a protective style so in order for your hair to be protected you have to moisturize the heck when I say the heck out of your hair moisturize it um, make sure you use a good amount so here it is I'm braiding down braiding down braiding down well back braiding back braiding back and then I switch it and I take it down that way the base of your hair is going towards the back and sometimes with the hair it can get tangled and I'm just showing you that I only have a little bit left so I like to take the hair and I comb through the hair before I actually braid it and remember my baby hair um video I did look at those <laughs> it grew back y'all look at that it's growing back no more so I split it in half and I just made the two using my piece of hair as a third and I'm just going down
So when I bought this hair, I actually thought it was all black at the top and then blue at the bottom, like ombre, but it's blue within everywhere, basically. And now I'm going to take my mousse because I'm done. I'm just going to put it everywhere. And what this does is just add, um, add shine and add a little hold to your hair. And I try to do that everywhere, but I was running out of mousse because I had it for a very long time. It actually lasted a long time. I got it from CVS and it was like the um, off-brand kind and I like it. Well, now I'm going to get my towel ready because I'm dipping it. Then I got that Got To Be Glue Blast Spray and I'm just going to spray that everywhere just to add a little bit more hold and to lay all the hair down. And I did um, cut off all the flyaways and everything. I did that off camera. Now it's time to dip that, dip that. And make sure you are careful. This is boiling hot water, guys. Dip it. I found a little um, way to make your ends not crinkly. So you want to dip a little at a time. Put a little in, then kind of take it out and then dip it again. If you just put it all in there at one time, your ends will get like curly and crinkly. I don't like that. So just dip a little, little by little. Now that my ends are dipped, I'm going to dry those off and then I am going to get some more mousse and the little bit that I have left and I'm going to add it to the ends because I like to make the ends look as nice as the top and I'm going to put some more um, got to be glue fruit blast spray whatever it's called on the end just to kind of seal them and make them look fresh and that is about it guys um, I think they look good I love the color I want to do something different because I usually just do um, black braids I wanted something different. I hope you guys like it. If you did, make sure you share and like. And also leave me a comment and tell me if you like it, if you didn't. Or ask me something about braiding. You know, I haven't did a braiding tutorial in so long. And y'all know this is what put me on the map. So, oh, and then I'm going to add some more of that oil because you want it to look shiny and nice and moisturized. I thank you guys for watching and please share this video and i thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye